quite frankly, it's shocking that uh, a Canadian sporting organization would behave in such an unsportsmanlike way. And I would suggest that uh, Bobsleigh Canada sponsors should take a hard look at whether they want to continue to support an organization of this nature. Three-time Olympic medalist Kelly Humphreys has been denied her release from Bobsleigh Canada by a Calgary judge, making her bid to compete for the U.S. team a much tougher proposition. She's obviously very disappointed with the decision. The judge gave several reasons for her decision, not the least of which was jurisdiction, essentially saying it's up to Bobsleigh Canada to decide if it wants to let athletes compete for a different country. Obviously, this was a decision that could impact a lot of sports federations in Canada and elsewhere. Um, so she took a lot of care and time and attention to deliver uh, a well-reasoned decision. Concerns were also raised about the regulatory system already in place to deal with these types of grievances, public money being invested into an athlete who then competes against that country, and the precedent her release would set, potentially opening top Olympic athletes to poaching by other countries. That'd be like telling a doctor, a lawyer who gets a professional degree at a Canadian university that uh, because those degrees are publicly subsidized that they can never any, at any point in their career go and live and work and pay taxes in another country. The decision leaves Humphreys, who's married to an American bobsledder, in limbo. International rules say in order to compete for the U.S., she needs to secure her release by September 30th. Now, she's in Aspen for push trials, which start on Wednesday, but it's unclear if she'll take part. Humphreys is suing Bobsleigh Canada for $45 million, claiming verbal and mental abuse by team coach Todd Hayes. And there are allegations teammates have been told not to compete or train with her or cooperate with the investigation unless they want to be blackballed. I, I, I can't comment on that because it's, it's the first time I'm hearing of that. There are other avenues which could see Humphreys compete for the U.S., so this isn't the end of the story. But as for if she'll ever represent Canada again... Not everyone can achieve uh, the skill set that Kaylee has. Um, and so, you know, of course we, we want that to be in our program. I think the board of directors of Canada Bobsled should be ashamed of themselves and they should all resign. I mean, the way that they've treated a national treasure has just been completely, uh, as far as I'm concerned, beyond the pale. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.